Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Uh, today uh, I'm drinking a cough, some coffee, some Korean co instant Korean coffee out of my Contigo, uh, my Contigo, whatchamacallit, Thermos. I actually really like this company's Thermos. This is not a sponsored video. I'm not big enough to be sponsored yet, but more on that later. But yeah, this if you guys want a good Thermos, Contigo is not bad. I really like, I like, their stuff is pretty solid. Like, I've been using this. This is actually my mom's. I lost mine a while back, but... I've been using this one for quite a long time now, about like a few months now, and yeah, I know it's really nice, it doesn't really smell or anything, like whatever you had last day, it won't smell as long as you wash it and stuff like that. So yeah, if you guys need a thermos, pick up a Contigo. Okay, so today's video is a little bit, it's like, a, it's kind of a response video to a very, <coughs> a very big topic right now, mostly in YouTube, and since you know, social media is something that's kind of a growing interest of mine in marketing and stuff like that. I'm going to decide to be talking about it. And this is specifically towards the YouTube monetization policy that just recently dropped. Um, this policy basically says that if you don't have 1,000 subscribers or 4,000 minutes of watch time during the last 12 months, you cannot monetize your videos. And there's been a big, uh, you know, a pretty big backlash on this. A lot of people have been kind of, they've been angry at YouTube and there's other people who are supporting of YouTube. And a few of those uh, YouTubers who kind of made videos on this topic recently have been like Travel Fields, Peter McKinnon, uh, I believe Philip DeFranco also did a video on this. But yeah, it, it, it's a very interesting policy update. Um, and me as a smaller YouTuber with uh, only 61 subscribers currently, um, it's an interesting thing hearing both sides of these of the spectrum um, for me personally I don't care um, that's where I stand it doesn't I don't think making these videos really came down to money in the first place and if you guys don't know what monetization means basically it means where uh, youtubers basically can make money off of the ads that YouTube decides to play on these videos and if you don't have fit these requirements basically you can't get ads and um, a lot of YouTubers, like P Peter McKinnon actually had a very good point on uh, on one of his uh, his videos that he made recently, literally like, I think he uploaded that today, um, was saying that basically one of his videos, he had 6,000 minutes or something like that of watch time, and he basically made 55 cents off of it, or quote, quote, estimated revenue from it was 55 cents. And in, in reality, I feel like people who are making YouTube videos, it shouldn't matter if if they make money or not. Um, the whole platform of YouTube was f was mainly created for creators to create and for people like, you know, me or people who, you know, who want to who wanna form a community of people. And that was kind of like the point of YouTube. And I feel like um, this whole new generation of, let's say, YouTubers, you know, I, even I'm included in this new generation technically, are is so focused on money that it loses it almost YouTube has almost lost its point as a platform to share um, and create more than a platform to you know get money from and profit off of and I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with profiting off of this like you know like I would love to make money off of it I'm not saying that like oh I'm not trying to be that guy who's like oh like all those people are making money off of this you know should demonetize their videos no I don't I, I don't think that at all I think it's you know, it's good that people can make money off of creative works I mean hell like that gives opportunities for people like me who have just came into this world of film and you know video and stuff like that. It gives me an opportunity to be able to make money off of videos and stuff like that. But I think there being a focus on money is where the problem lies, and I think that's where this new generation of of, of YouTube becoming a platform for business and you know making money has kind of lost its meaning in a sense. Um, I think YouTube was originally created for creators to create and for people who want to create communities to be able to create communities and have their opinions out there. And I think that was the original purpose and I think we need to start looking back on that instead of being so fixated on the monetization portion of it and being like, all these regulations are keeping me from making money. You know, when YouTube is a platform for creating and sharing. And I think that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. 
Um, if you guys enjoy these pretty videos, please consider subscribing. I want to hit that. I'm just kidding. Um, no, like I, I really can care less if I get these videos monetized or not. I think it's more important for me to be able to share my thoughts and how and hear you guys' opinions about it. And so, if you guys like these videos, please do subscribe. You know, and look out for these content. If you guys have any topics that you guys want me to talk about, please comment down below or DM me on any of my social media platforms or uh, tweet at me or whatever. Uh, and all those are listed in the description down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.